Hi guys, today's video I'm so excited for because I got a new package from Kaleidos and you guys know if you've been on my channel for a while Kaleidos is one of my absolute favorite bands. I've been on their PR list for quite some time and not that long ago they came out with their new lipsticks which are the what are they even called? Like the lip clays? They basically look like this and they came out with two sets that were only able to be sold in sets of four. Uh, now they've come out with two new sets, but they also expanded so that you can buy all of these individually, which I think is amazing because not everybody wants to buy a set of four lipsticks because everybody has lipstick preferences and in a set of four, it's often going to be like one or two shades that you're just, you're not that thrilled about, you're not going to love. But if you do, it's great that they come in a set of four, but if you don't, you know what I'm trying to say. So I'm very excited. I cannot wait to try all of these because the shades look beautiful. So this one is called the Apple Collection and it comes in the cutest PR package. I mean, like I said, I did get this in from PR. This is the PR package. You're probably not going to get all of this unless you buy the full package, but I thought I would show you anyway because the way that they package things is just beautiful. I have kind of like opened these things. They did come wrapped and stuff. So let me show you kind of the first drawer here or whatever you want to call it. So this is just like the most random thing ever. But I, I also love these because like you can actually store things in these just like, you know, have them standing like this and like store brushes or something like these are really cute. So the first thing that was in here is a fan, which is super, super random, but also like you kind of need a fan, you know, and it says Kaleidos on it. And I think that the print is just really cute. It goes with the collection. It's nice and small, definitely nice for if you're going to travel because like traveling is going to happen again soon. Hopefully, I mean, we're going to Norway to see my family for Christmas, so I'll be traveling. If I'm bringing some kind of a setting spray, I probably want to bring a fan. This is great. And then the other most <laughs> random thing that also came in this collection is like this clay. I don't even know what you would call this. It's just like a little ornament and it says Kaleidos on it. Let me see if the white balance can actually like pick up what this looks like because it's just going to look very white. Uh, I can dim the lighting a little bit. I've probably done that already, but it's just really cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'll put it somewhere. I don't know, but fun little idea anyway. And then before we get into the lipsticks, there is also another compartment right here, which I will take out and show you what is inside of it. It's actually only one thing and it is a lip mask. And this one is uh, a different color than the one they came out with before. They had one in the previous collection, which was blue. So here is the package that it comes in. Super, super cute. I really like the lip mask from Kaleidos and I'm really excited to have another one because these are just awesome. So taking it out, this is what the actual lip mask looks like. And I have already used it because I had to try it because I just love the other ones so much. So it comes with a little thing here that you just pop open. And then inside here is a texture of it. So you can see I've already used it because like I said, I couldn't help myself and I love it. It's the same formula as the other one that they had before. These aren't like super thick or sticky, but they're very, very comfortable. Like they're, they're definitely very nourishing. And my lips are so dry right now that I need that. So I'm, I'm thrilled, honestly, to have another one. I think that these are just amazing. And if you plan on picking up anything from the collection, definitely try one of the lip masks. Like, honestly, they're so good. So let's see, we're gonna go into the actual uh, lipsticks here. So we have two of these tin containers, which the other collection came in as well. So I'll show you the close-ups. They're absolutely stunning. I love just how much thought they put into their packaging because all of these things is, is, is stuff that you can actually like repurpose or reuse or just, you know, like these things, like you can store things in here, you can store things in here. Like this is really, really cute. Like I might even take this and like put some of my small eyeshadow palettes in it and stack it in here because this is, this is nice quality. It's very like thick, heavy cardboard. And I just, I love their packaging so much. So before we get into the actual lip swatches, I do need to take my lipstick off because I just filmed another video, but this look is coming also. And they also sent me one of these cute bags. Like this is like a, a fabric. This is a thick fabric. It's not like a reusable like paper bag or anything like that, but this is super nice. Like I love this. I love the colors on it. Like they match me. Super cute. I, that's such a cool, a cool idea. Such a cool touch. So let's see. What are these called? I need to figure out like the names of these because I don't think it says on them. Okay, so the first one here is called the Trophy Set and these are $35 each. $35 for four lipsticks. That's a good deal if you ask me. And here is what the inside of the container looks like. So you can actually take this out and like use the thing to 
you know, like I said before, store things, but my nails, I'm gonna break them if I'm not careful. So like, this is just a, how would I even explain this? I guess it's just like a cardboard, like a sort of textured velvety cardboard that you can just take out and be left with the tin. So these are the darkest ones. I'm gonna start with the lighter ones, I'm guessing, because it's gonna be a little bit easier to remove those. So this is called the Mercy Set. Super cute packaging, absolutely love this. And then here is the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out all of these lipsticks and then we can start swatching them and see what they look like on. I'm also going to take off the lipstick that I'm currently wearing because I don't need that anymore. Let me see if I can take this out. Okay, so you just kind of pull this out like this and then you're just left with the tin. Like I said, the tins are really nice. Can definitely use those to store things in. So let me get ready to lip swatch. So these are in no particular order. I'm gonna start with this one. This one is in the shade Bear. Looks to be a beautiful, sort of on the peachy side nude, but a darker peach. So I'm gonna show the application with this color, but with the other ones, I'm probably going to skip it because it's really hard to like show me applying lipsticks. Also keep in mind that my lips are extremely dry right now. So you get to see how they, how they look on lips that are not in the best uh, condition. But this shade is beautiful and it goes on so easily. So keep in mind that these are not like completely opaque upon first application. So sometimes the lighter shades are going to be a little bit easier to work with than the darker ones, but this looks so nice. I love this color. And honestly, this is also probably going to become one of my favorites from Kaleidos because all of my other ones in like the nude collection I had before, they live in my bags because I use them all the time. I think that they are great. So this was the shade, let's see, this was the shade called Bear. Love it, think it is beautiful. Let's move on to the next one. So this shade right here is called Pink Moon. I love this. This is also so pretty. This is a little bit more pink, but I like that. I like pink based nudes more than I like more like peachy based nudes. I, I like, how do I say this? I like brown based nudes the most, but then I like pink based nudes next. And then peachy nudes are like probably my least favorite because I feel like they don't look that good on my skin tone. But the first one was honestly really, really pretty. And I do feel like I, I looked good in that one, but this is more, this is more like me and what I would go for on a daily basis, I would say, but this looks really, really nice. I really like this one too. Okay, this might be my new favorite. <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna say that with all of them. This is so pretty. This is in the shade Wild Apple. This is beautiful. I love the depth of it. I love that it's a, like a berry, but not a very dark berry. It's like a light berry. I don't know, I love this. And I think it looks really good with my eye look too. I think it really complements like the, uh, the pink shift in it. <sighs> really pretty. I love these so far. These are so cute. So we're getting into some of the more darker shades. At least this one is like by far the darkest one in the set. And I feel like I feel like with darker shades in this formula, it can be a little bit tricky to get them to look nice and even, just because, like I said in the beginning, they're not they're not 100% opaque. So you need to kind of build them up and go over certain spots a little bit. And also with the darker ones, since they are a little bit on the sheer side, getting like a crisp lip line can be a little bit tough as well. But I feel like this looks really good. I would say that. Use the lip liner maybe with the darker shades. If you want to get like a, a better application, it's going to be a little bit easier, but you can definitely like play around with them and, and just take your time with the first application and still be able to get it to look really nice. But I love this color. This is very unique. And I don't think I have a color like this in my collection because I did just do a huge lipstick declutter. And I don't think I kept anything in this color or maybe I just didn't even have anything in this color. I don't know. I'm happy to have this. It's not a color I'm going to use often, but I think with certain eye looks, especially like fall looks, I think is going to look really nice. So I do really like this. This was in the shade Mercury Wave. Yeah, very unique, very fun color. I think that this is something that a lot of brands don't really make and I'm not really sure why because I feel like it's quite flattering. I think it looks really nice. So next up, we're gonna move into the trophy set and these are the more, how do I say this? More like statement lipsticks, I guess. The other one was definitely more on the nude and wearable. <laughs> Wearable is such a dumb word, but it's also just a good way to explain how a lot of people feel. So let me go ahead and swatch these as well. There is a black in here. I'm going to save that for last. So we're going to start with, I guess, start with the lightest one here. Oh, this pink is so pretty. It's very like bright and in your face pink, but I love, I think this looks really good with my eye look too. Some people would probably be like, that's too much on it, but 
I don't know why I like it. This is the shade called uh, Fiamma, Fiamma, Fiamma. Never heard that before, but that's a very interesting and different name. I think this looks really, really nice. Uh, yeah, I, I like this a lot. Now, the last three are going to all be very, very dark, so I'm gonna try my best to get a good application with them. I can't promise that I will because it might be a little bit rough. I'm also just not the best at lipstick application, but <laughs> let me go ahead and try them. Like I said, application, not perfect, but I think the color of this is really pretty. I wish I had a lip liner in this color, which I might, but I'm also just not going to be wearing lip liners in a lip swatching video because removing that every time is a pain in the ass. And I just want you to be able to see the color and like how it applies without having a lip liner underneath because you can see that my lip line here is, I mean, it's just not looking great. Like it's a little bit darker in certain spots than others just because of the way that the formula of these lipsticks are. I feel like this formula is just better suited for lighter colors, but I think that the color is beautiful. But like I said, I would like to have some kind of a lip liner underneath it to be able to use this. So this is definitely not my favorite, but I do think it's really, really pretty. And if I can find a lip liner in my collection in this color, I can definitely see myself using this lipstick more often. Okay, this next one is probably my least favorite out of the bunch because I can see it very clearly that it's just, it's clinging to my uh, my dry spots on my lips and is making those spots look a lot darker than the actual lipstick. Uh, this is in the shade Queen of the Night. Not my favorite just because, like I said before, I feel like this formula is just better suited for lighter colors and this one is just looking a little bit, a little bit rough. It could also be my application and I didn't put on like three layers, but I also don't wanna have like three layers of lipsticks on my lips for it to look even, you know what I mean? So for me, not my favorite, but I don't know. I feel like a lot of people would probably like this, but it's just not for me. Okay, so here is the last one. This is the black one. Um, I didn't put on like three layers again, like I said before with the other one. This I would say is like one and a half to two layers. I didn't wait for it to like completely dry before I went in with the second one, but I also don't want to have that much lip product on my lips because that, that way it just becomes uncomfortable. So I don't love this like on its own, but I think with a lip liner, I think it would look a lot better because mostly it's like, I feel like getting a smooth application on the actual lip line is like what makes it look not that I don't know, well done. So I think that this would be dark enough that I would like call it a, a black lipstick with a lip liner. Right now it looks a little bit more, not brown, but like I feel like I can see my lip color through the lipstick just because of uh, the opacity of the lipstick is not that opaque. But I mean, the formula of these is just so, so good that I feel like if I'm looking for like these colors in a lipstick and I wear them with a lip liner, I think I'll be totally fine with them. So I think that's gonna be my thoughts. I mean, I I, just, I love this formula from Kaleidos. I just don't love the dark colors as much as I like the, uh, the lighter ones, but I think that they look nice still. Like, I don't think this looks bad. I just don't think it looks like black, black. You know what I mean? <laughs> But yeah, that's gonna be it for this lip swatching video. Let me know if you tried this formula. Let me know if you plan on picking any of these up. I don't think anybody has a coat with Kaleidos that I know of. I'm pretty sure they don't. But if you know of anybody that has a coat with Kaleidos, let me know and I can, uh, I can leave that down below. But as of this very moment, I don't think anybody has a coat. So that's gonna be my thoughts. Those are gonna be, yeah, that's gonna be it. <laughs> that's all I got. This was fun. I really like doing lip swatching videos. I don't do them very often because it's not often that I get like a full collection and I feel like it's worth making like a separate video on. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this was helpful at least. Maybe if you're of my skin tone, you can see what they look like on you. And if not, I hope that it's just helpful to see kind of like what the formula looks like on the lips. I'm sure other people have done this already, but it's always nice to just get different opinions. So, so that's gonna be it for today. If you wanna see some more Kaleidos content, I do have a playlist that I will put right there. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.